Hammerfest Day 3 and I'm joined here with Jack from Night Ranger. How are you? I'm very good, I'm very good. Glad to be here. Excellent. Where did you arrive? Uh, late last night. <laughs> <laughs> Took a bit of a long drive from London. Yeah, it's a good few hours. Yes, <laughs> that's putting it mildly. <laughs> So you guys um, closed the AOR stage uh, tonight. Yeah. So looking forward to it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, from everything I've heard, I'm really excited excited about seeing some of the other bands tonight and, and we're excited about um, um, playing here. I mean, we never, you know, I never feel like we've played enough in the UK, so I'm really happy that we're playing here in Wales. Yeah. You know, and each year we want to play more shows in the UK. You know, we want to sort of build it up and build it up and build it up. And I'd like to eventually be playing you know, five, six, seven shows in the UK. Excellent. Yeah, that's the idea. Excellent. So obviously, uh, bands like yourselves, when you do come to the UK, it's normally like the major cities, like London or Birmingham, right. that sort of stuff. So to be playing a festival now in the middle of Wales, yeah. with the mountains behind it must be... North Wales. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> must be a, a bit of a refreshment. Yeah, you know, it's just so beautiful out here. It's just so great. Yeah, we're very excited. Excellent. Where else would you like to play in the UK? Well, I mean, I'd love to be up in um, Glasgow. Yeah. You know, we'd love to play up north. I'd love to play, you know, like I said, Manchester, Birmingham. Just, just, I'd love to hit all the cities. You know, I think that'd be a really great thing for Night Ranger to do. Excellent. So, what have you got in store for the rest of 2015 after today? Well, we're um, we're actually pretty busy this year. It's all just kicking in. This is really the start of of the of, of touring for us. So we play these shows, then. Then we're off to, um, we're doing the Monsters of Rock cruise. Ooh. And it's going to be great with Tesla, so a whole bunch of other bands. And then, um, and then we're down to Puerto Rico playing a, a festival down there with Sammy Hagar and um, Brett Michaels and some people. And, and then we're off to just doing our own thing in, in, in the States. Lots of shows and, and everything like that. So it's going to be a, a very busy year. Yeah. Very busy year for Night Ranger. Excellent. What's the music scene currently like in America? Because over here we've got a lot of venues that are closing down still. Um, is that the same sort of impact across the states? Have you noticed any any change over the last few years? No, no, absolutely. Actually, it's gotten better over the last few years in the states. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of fairs and festivals that bands, you know, a lot of classic rock bands play, which is really great. You know, a lot of a lot of uh, casinos in America have big big rooms, the 2,000 seat, 3,000 seat, 4,000, 5,000 seat rooms, and everything like that that a lot of classic rock bands play. And, um, there's there's many many outdoor amphitheaters. Yeah, it, actually, it's a very healthy environment in the United States right now. That's good. Yeah, That's yeah, healthy. yeah. So I'd like to see it over here. That <laughs> well, that's the thing. It, it, the music industry in the last few sort of like few years did take a bad knock. Yeah. Um, but I think there is a slow. It's slowly sort of starting to come back up. The rock insurgents are sort of starting to, even though it's sort of like nearly sort of died. It, it sort of went back underground type and it started to reinsert. I think so. I think it's all about the fact a good song is a good song. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and um, our band, Night Ranger, is always focused on songs and, the, and, the, and, and a good song. You know what I mean? And, and I think that's the key with a lot of the bands that you'll see at the festival tonight. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of just, you know, a good song is a good song. And I think, I think it's the resurgence of the good song. I yeah. think you could put it that way. Yeah. Well, I said some people say it's uh, classic rock, but in my eyes, you've got the classic rock. But you, I don't really class it as classic because it's music that was before its time when it was written, and it's still fresh today when you hear it, as it was when you first heard it many years ago. I think that's yeah. I think I think, and it's it's. I feel it's a privilege that we're actually still amongst the survivors of it. <laughs> All right. Do you know what I mean? There's like yeah. bands like ourselves and Journey and Sticks and Ario Speedwagon. Amer I'm thinking American bands now, you know, and, and um, you know, I could mention several other yeah, that I'm probably forgetting, you know, that I'm forgetting right now, but I think it's really great that that that, that we're all still, and it's fun because we all know each other and we're all still out there and then we do shows together, Pat Benatar, yeah. you know, this person, that person, you know, it's really, really fun to be able to do that, you know, Def Leppard, things like that. Yeah, it's it. It's, uh, I suppose it's the, the era of music was a passion, music was a way of life before the digital age sort of started to take over, yeah. really. Um, but it's good to see. Yeah, uh, oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see that it's still a passion. Yeah. You know what I mean with people. <clears throat> 
Come on, sit down. Now that band, Revolution Saints. <laughs> that band, Night. They are big. That night, big that, rock band. That band, Night Rider. <laughs> that band, Night Rider. <laughs> that band, Night Rider. Sit down, guys. They got a singing drummer in that band too. <laughs> they got Night Rider. <laughs> sit down. Come on. Well, you got, Pull up. In the middle of this kid, <laughs> Come on. All right, come on. Let's get, get Brad here. Gillis in here. Now you got us all. There you go. You got, you got Night Ranger. Who is this? So when, um, when it comes to setting up a set list to perform on stage, what process do you go? What, how do you decide what songs you're going to be performing? <laughs> we just did it. <laughs> we change it for every show. Excellent. We do, we do. We, I mean, which is nice because we're, we're a band that doesn't... We, we never have and we probably never will use tapes and loops and everything with us because we like switching it up for ourselves. Yeah. I mean, we'll be on stage and we'll call off a song and just start playing it. We'll look at each other and Brad will look at me and go, should we play it? Should I play it? I'm like, bust into it. You know, and we'll start playing a song just out of, you know, just we throw in a song here, we throw in a song there, we just do it. And so, I mean, like in a show like that on a festival tonight, unfortunately, we're in there scratching out songs. Yeah, play, you know, <laughs> which is, you know, and we were in London, you know, a couple nights ago playing and it was like a Springsteen set dude it was almost like two and a half hours it was insane we, had, we mean, cut four songs and we still cut four songs and didn't, didn't do an encore and still we were over two and two hours and 15 minutes you know so, so well you know we hadn't played for a month we were pretty excited to yeah. <laughs> so we wanted to play everything yeah we wanted to do everything yeah that was cool okay we'll let Jack go back to his no it's okay it's <laughs> no, they're, they're calling us over. Uh, that is really really cool there you go that's brilliant Did you that's the, that's the thing, when you've got such a back catalogue of tracks and stuff like that, um, obviously you've written them, uh, you've seen them produced, you've, they're your children, you've seen them grow, but also at the same time it's like you want to play them and you're not so sure if, how they're going like, to fit in into a set routine, but it's good to hear that you do go back. And oh yeah, I mean... In London, we were playing songs we hadn't played in 30 years. You know, what I mean, we just said, let's just let's just bust out this song, let's bust out that song. That's what we did, and it was just, it was great. And I think that the fans appreciate that. The fans appreciate, and they saw that we just pulled it out of the hat. You know what I mean? And, and for them, I think it's kind of something special for them. Yeah. You know, they're seeing something that they wouldn't see every day if they just came to a uh, show or yeah. something like that. And a lot of bands, you know, have their set format because of everything, that's what they play, that's what they say every night. The guys say, you know, you go to one show and then go to the second show and it's the exact same exactly. show. But it's never that way with us. Every exactly. night we play a different show, different songs, different ideas, different everything. Yeah. And I think that keeps it, that keeps us fresh for us yeah. also. One of the other things well, you, you must really love is when you're, you're on stage and you call for the house lights to go up and you see four generations of the same family all at your one show yeah. because your original fans, they brought their kids, they brought their kids. Yeah, yeah that's, it's very, it, it makes you feel like you've done something right <laughs> in your life, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Uh, that's, that's what you mentioned the Monsters of Rock earlier. Now, I grew up during the Monsters of Rock era here in the UK, mm. which to me was, that was my first ever festival. Mm. That was the first time I saw some of the real big names and experienced like bands which I've never seen, seen before coming across the pond, that sort of thing. If you could go back to the Monsters of Rock years, would you do it? Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I'd love to have gone back and I, I, I would have loved to have played every one of those, you know what I mean? Because we never did play enough in the UK. We only played once in 1985. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. That's insane. That's insane. Yeah. For Night Ranger to only play once in the 80s in the UK. That's like, like bullshit. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so that's why we're making a conscious effort to play more here now. I mean, this time we did two shows. Next year we want to do three or four shows yeah. in the UK. We really want to build it. We really want to do it. I say you must feel the pain in your fans screaming. Come on, guys, get over here. Yeah, we get need over you. here. Come on, come on, <laughs> Ranger, get over here. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, absolutely. Thank you so much for taking my pleasure. Time my time pleasure. Time. Great, great to be here. Looking forward to seeing you take to the yeah, stage. It's gonna be a fun show. Yeah. It's been a long time. I see you said 1985. It's been Thanks, bro. a long, long time. Thanks, bro.